There's not a whole lot to talk about before this film. Uh, the film that you're going to see is very well put together, number one. Number two, it doesn't preach, so neither will I. I have a feeling that when you see this film, the conversations that take place will take place with you and you, which is what all good conversations should actually be about. So if, you, if it helps you to think, then perhaps it's done its job and uh, I've seen those tadpoles, you know, at the back who grew into blue frogs. All of these kids this big and suddenly they're coming out over here and here you are and here's a nightclub and here's jazz and here's serious issues and things like this. The truth is actually darker, scarier, dirtier than anything that you might imagine. Uh, I've got these little kids here. It's their universe that's being grabbed. And the guys doing the grabbing are not some evil ogres with Dracula teeth and palm chewing, spitting, uh, evil guys who, you know. They're not these guys. These are very sophisticated guys. They're very good guys. They're the chaps who you, they have the right etiquette. They'll know which fork to use, how many and everything. Those are the guys that are actually taking us all down. And we are part of their plot. That's what this film is about. We are very good guys, all of us, but uh, I would say we are intelligent minds trapped in very disobedient lifestyles. So see this film, and if there is uh, some conversation to be held after that, we will have it. If it isn't, we will just sit in small groups, but think about what you are going to see. It is probably the most important issue that has ever occurred ever since the evolution of Homo sapiens on this planet. Enjoy the film. Thank you. No capability whatsoever to, to adapt to. For example, what you just saw outside today, the kind of rainfall that we had was unexpected. We had no way of dealing with it except for just being late. That's an example of that. We also believe that this is not an environmental issue. This is not about saving just a tree. We are not tree huggers who are saving the tree for no other reason. It is a human issue. It's a humanitarian issue. Just to give you some numbers, uh, the humanitarian forum, the Global Humanitarian Forum, which is headed by Kofi Annan as the president and many other renowned environmentalists and leaders of nations have concluded in mid-2009, according to the Human Impact Report, that global warming related impacts are expected to leave approximately 3 million people dead, 325 million people seriously affected and economic issue, uh, losses of 125 billion. This is not an environmental issue anymore. It's a human issue. That is the reason why we started doing this. And finally, we wanted to start a movement to bring about individual accountability for our impact on global warming. Global warming is not happening because of governments. It's not happening because of corporations. It's not happening because of your neighbor or because of your housing society. It is happening because of us. Eventually, we are the consumers. The business exists for consumers, which is why it needs to start at the bottom. We also believe that our nation takes the stance at the national level saying that India is a developing nation. Our average carbon footprint as a nation is very, very good. It is lower than world average. While that is very true, there is also the phenomenon of hiding behind the poor. Approximately 1% of India's wealthy people exert a footprint which is then subsidized by about 825 million other Indians who don't even have a bulb. They can't even exert a footprint. They don't have the opportunity to exert a footprint. And not only that, the consequences of what we do are first felt by them. When the temperatures rise, we can turn the AC on, shut the window. They do not have that option. So please think about that culpability, that responsibility that we have. And finally, the reason why we as individuals need to act, because I believe if not you, then who? If not now, then when? And as our uh, brother Obama very eloquently put it, I am going to paraphrase him, he says that, Change will not come if we wait for another person or another time. We are the people we've been waiting for.